Insert fun intro about how I adored Oblivion and got me into other Elder Scrolls titles, which I will now use for the sake of comedy to make fun of you other Elders fans. Slash affectionately. Well, congratulations! You decided the max difficulty of all these games was not enough. So you wanted to play as a jaundice-struck, magical, lanky snob who also has a weakness to magic. The fact one can send you into critical states where the flair is equally amusing and depressing all at once. It's a shame because you guys do actually look pretty cool. And I'm not even going to jab at the Thalmor, because that would just be like beating a dead horse. Which I'm sure you would love to resurrect and kill again, you necromancy-loving Anu-worshipping nerds. I'm going to give you guys a 6 out of 10, because there's 6 letters in yellow, and that's all you are. Talk about glow-ups of the eras. Y'all went from crusty-looking skinks, to overcomplicated geckos, to just rockin! That absolutely should be the Dragonborn based on horns, eyes, and everything else alone going on with you. Seriously, you guys look like dragons. But screw saving the world, right? You got Sithis a lot of things to do! Hell, even y'all train your little lizard babies to be assassins if they're born under the sign of the shadow, and for that... You didn't get any special quests in Dark Brotherhood should you have made an Argonia board from under the shadow sign. Which... That's... There ain't enough his sap in the world to help you cope with that. But you, 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 you guys do look pretty badass, so... 8 out of 10. Man... Just... Man... I feel so bad for what Skyrim did to you guys. Y'all went from looking quite distinct from your fellow yellow counterparts to just... Being the Altmer. But smaller. Which I suppose is fair, because you guys are supposed to be like the less formal, snobbier counterparts to the High Elves. But I guess in your head that meant, hey, it's sort of magic! We just ate people! Now to be fair, y'all did it because you're sworn to protect every bit of plant life, which is truly <laughs> like the most metal level of plant positivity I've ever seen. But y'all really should have looked into that green pack's terms and conditions more, so... 6 out of 10. I have no other way to describe this, but I feel like you guys were the kids on holidays that got so hyped up about getting that one toy you always wanted, only to get crushed it's a bootleg copy because your dad wanted to save like, I don't know, like 20 bucks? For being the theoretical half-elves of Tamriel, you guys got done dirty and keeping your sad little round ears, your short little stature, and then Skyrim yanking away some of your perks for balance reasons. Thanks, Todd. And then to add insult to injury, they made you French, when clearly your more superior nomenclature was Welsh. But if you can overcome all these aesthetic curses, you can be the best goddamn half-elf in the entire Nern realm, and bust the kneecaps at anyone who dare calls you one of those smelly gross Imperials, especially if you played f female Breton because they gave you the same voice actress, and honestly, it made you really hard to tell who was who in that game. So, uh... 9 out of 10. I still love you guys. There are two kinds of people who roleplay as Dark Elves. Those who know every bit of lore and not only the tragic history of the Dunmer Kin, but likely the entirety of Elder Scrolls in general. Even the bad ones. And those who pick Dark Elves because... <laughs> Blue Elves pretty. It is such a shame because you pick the most aesthetically pleasing elf characters in the game, and that your racial traits make you fit anywhere from rogues to mages to warriors to archers or traitors if you really want to be that immersive. Everyone in Tamriel hates you! Is it because of the danger worshipping? I, I don't know, maybe, but don't worry. Mommy Azura loves you. And I love you. You are my favorite tragedy struck killing machines, and for that you get 10 out of 10. Stay brooding. Wow, a breaking new role-playing ground there, buddy. You picked the most human of all the humans in Elder Scrolls. I'm sure you're proud of yourself. That's fine, because you can now probably play as a human who actually does some real good in this world. Or anything. Or even just, you know, wipe it the fuck out. While you guys can talk yourselves almost out of any situation and practically run the entirety of this realm, thank you, Imperial Empire, Y'all are just... boring. Like, even in a fantasy setting, you're just such basic, tactical bitches. And I would give you a 1 out of 10, but I'm gonna give you a 3 because you guys did give us Lucy and Lachance, so we're good. It would have been 8 if you let him live. Goddamn. I got nothing bad to say about you guys. Y'all are just so damn cool. You feel so out of place sometimes in this game, but holy fuck. 
guys are cool. Like, I'm not kidding. Your customs, your naming quirks, your architecture, your perk that makes you fucking incredible in hand-to-hand -hand combat, your designs, your moon worship culture. Mike, the liar, just... God! Stay cool, you badass furry bastard. 10 out of 10. I'm gonna be real with you. I feel like this was as close as anyone is gonna get to playing a dwarf in Elder Scrolls. Despite the height, it's really not far off. You guys love to fight, you shout, you live in mountains, you have a possible drinking problem. And it sucks because dwarves did exist, but Elder Scrolls killed them. Once again, thank you, Todd fucking Howard. Very cool. Aside from that, you are fascinating to observe from a distance, because while there is some neat things about your customs and cultures, it's kind of overseen by a uh, big statue of a guy who committed elven genocide. And some of you thought that was actually pretty freaking cool. Kinda suspicious, dude. Two out of 10. If Argonians got a glow up over the games, y'all got bitch smacked with the brightest light out there cause God damn did Morrowind and Oblivion make you guys look goofy as hell. And that's even before messing around with the sliders, but Skyrim orcs, <laughs> it's just something to the neurons here. But I feel like if anyone played anything that wasn't a strength based build, it would just be lore breaking cause hell, one of the most iconic orc assassins used no stealth. None! Just bonked his targets to death in full heavy armor. But y'all have a hold on my heart, you big, beefy nerds. 11 out of 10. You definitely know a lot about Elder Scrolls lore if you're playing one of these guys, and are having arguments online with the Dunmer role players, particularly on who had it worse. I wish they called you guys via regatta, because the idea you guys got defaulted to this from centuries of name corruptions is kind of scummy. But like Arisma, y'all have a lore-breaking drawback that if I played as one of you, it had to be just melee combat. Because for some reason, Regatta see magic as weak and wicked. And that would have been amusing if the game explored that. Like if their you know, fellow Red Guard saw you casting magic as a Red Guard, they'd be like, Hey! Fuck you doing? It would be interesting, because they see it as weak and wicked, and you don't want to be weak and wicked. Do you? 8 out of 10. Well, I suppose I should do some sort of outro for this, huh?